Geometry 232, Four Steps to the Area on a Grid. Because you're seeking area, that means you're seeking the inside unit count of a geometric shape. So there's going to be three or more ordered pairs that need plotting on a grid to make that shape. See? These are all the points you would need depending on the shape. A line has no inside, so you're not going to make plot points for a line with two ordered pairs. There's going to be three or more ordered pairs that need to be plotted, okay? So, here's the four steps. Pardon the glare of my light there. The first thing you're going to do is plot the points on the grid. Look at your ordered pairs and plot the points on the grid, okay? I made a little grid here, all right? The second thing you're going to do is draw lines to connect your points to create the shape. See? The next thing you're going to do, number three, is you're going to use the distance formula that we talked about a couple videos ago to find the lengths of the sides of your shape. Three sides means three distances, four sides means four distances, etc. So, in my case here, we had four sides, so I needed to find four distances. So this is where the hard work comes in. We have to do the distance formula four times. Luckily, I chose some easy ordered pairs to work with. So here's the first one. We're going to do the line AB right here, okay? So what we are going to compare is A and B, okay? That's the two ordered pairs we're going to be working with because that's the line we're doing. So, when we're discussing uh, x-coordinate 2 and x-coordinate 1, these are the two we're going to be doing. When we go to do line AC, that's going to be the first ordered pair, and that's going to be the second ordered pair. When we go to do BD, that will be the first ordered pair, and that will be the second ordered pair for the formula. See? And we just mix and match. So, the first ordered pair is 2, 4, and 2, 1. So, you plug in the second x minus the first x. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 1 take away 4 is negative 3. And now we have to square them. Because remember, this whole thing is a big square root. 0 squared is nothing. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we have the square root of 9, which is 3. So now AB is done. AB is 3. Okay? Then you do AC. And you plug in. Here's X1. Here's X2. So we're going to do 5 take away 2. And then 4 take away 4. Okay? 5 take away 2 is 3. It's going to have to be multiplied by itself to get 9. That's 0. So the square root of 9 is 3. So now we have another 3. Now we need to do the next line, CD, okay? We've done this one, we've done this one, now we're going to come down this side with C and D. So now that's the first ordered pair, and that's the second ordered pair. 5 take away 5 is 0, right here. And 1 take away 4, again, is negative 3, which is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Now we're going to do BD, the bottom line, which is going to completely enclose our geometric shape to make a square. So we do the same thing. 5 take away 2 is 3. 1 take away 1 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So now we got a bunch of 3's, so we realized, oh, we made this square. So, the last thing you're going to do is use the area formula for the shape you created, square, to find its area. To find the area of a square, it's length times width. So, 3 times 3 is 9. The area is 9. Wasn't that easy? Now, I'm sure there's going to be some really difficult octagon or, you know, some big-sided figure or some triangle that might give you some difficulty. But this is the basis of how you're going to do it, the basic info on how to do this. Try horsing around with uh, other rectangles and squares. Get the hang of it. Remember that however many sides your shape has is how many distances you're going to have to figure out. All right? This was easy. You can do this. Keep going. You're doing great. Bye.